guys, today I'm here with a bit of a different video. It is a what's in my bag and I don't know how other people normally do this but this is like completely honest. I have not put anything in here and I also have not taken out any of the garbage but I thought it would be kind of fun to pick through my bag, show you what is in here. Going to be a lot of lip products and garbage probably <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started. So let's chat about my bag itself for a second. It is from the brand Teddy Blake who I will link to down below. I have a coupon code for them but um, I have really been enjoying this bag. It feels like a real adult bag if that makes sense um, even though it's filled with a whole bunch of crap but I love the color. It feels really sophisticated. The gold it goes with everything. You get a short strap and a long strap which is really nice and I feel like it's a good size. I can fit lots of stuff in here but it also isn't too bulky like I wear it to events and whatnot so um, yeah I've really been liking this so let's open her up okay the first things in here two sets of headphones I've really been enjoying listening to podcasts lately I mentioned this on snapchat but if you have any podcast recommendations let me know and if you'd like to hear my recommendations for podcasts maybe I can put them in my monthly favorites but I've got my listening devices then in here I've got a little list of YouTube things I guess I was planning on doing. Um, photos, I wanted to take photos of the Tarte Foundation, the MAC Pretty Juicy Collection, and the Jean-Michel Basquiat Collection, and then videos I wanted to film here as well, and I think I've gotten all of this done, so let's check that off the list. I have my business cards here because of course sometimes at events or if I just like meet people on the street and for whatever reason we get talking about makeup, I like to be able to hand somebody something so that it's not just like, hey, check out my YouTube channel. It's something they can actually, um, if they want to, go check me out. So if you have a YouTube channel, I definitely recommend carrying some business cards. This is a transfer. I don't know if this is interesting at all. Maybe it is. I kind of like that whole like picking through other people's stuff thing. Um, this is a transfer for taking the TTC, which is the Transit, Toronto Transit Commission, basically taking the subway. I have this CND nail polish that my friend Caitlin gave me. She does amazing nail art. This is in the shade Aqua Slide, and I love blue nail polish. And she was like, I'm not going to use it. You can have it. And then the ColourPop Blotted Lip in Drip. I did a recent ColourPop haul, and I've been loving this. So this is something that's going to be like a staple in my bag. Bag. Moving on to more business cards, my driver's license, which is actually a Newfoundland driver's license. I've yet to get a Toronto one and some Shoppers Drug Mart gift cards. I want to, I've been like, I have a few Shoppers Drug Mart gift cards. And I've kind of been like saving up for something really, really exciting. So we'll see. Okay. This is where things get weird. I've got a package of the Mott Fruit Sations, little gummy candies, some tissue, why Samantha? So this is actually from work because I think I had taken an apple to work and I like to cut my apple as opposed to biting it, which is weird. But um, last year I was traveling to Maryland for work. I flew into the Baltimore airport and when I was flying back out, it was only a day trip. I was gone for 24 hours. And the next day when I was flying out in security, they pulled me to the side and they started like picking through my bag. And I was like, that's weird. Maybe I have too much hair product or something like that. She pulls out a knife that looks exactly like this. The scariest thing is, was I got through Pearson security with this, not realizing it because it was at the bottom of my book bag. I only took my workbook bag because I was only going overnight. And I was like, oh God, I'm going to go to a jail in Baltimore. What am I going to do? Like, how do I explain this? But basically I was like, that's my apple knife. Like I didn't even realize it was in there. And she was like, okay, if you want to check it, you can. But like, you have to go back out through security. I was like, no, that's from Dollarama. Please let me live. Anyways, still carrying knives around apparently. So I have some Avon blotting sheets. You've seen me use these in multiple oily skin diaries. This is actually a backup that Caitlin also gave me. I have a Pure Later slip. I got an umbrella delivered not long ago and I don't own an umbrella and I've been living in Toronto for a year and a half. And whenever it rains, I'm the, literally the only person on the street without an umbrella. But growing up in Newfoundland where it's very windy and very rainy umbrellas, there was no point. So finally I bit the bit the bullet and purchased an umbrella on Amazon because I don't really like shopping in stores. Anyways, it shows up to my concierge. The box is gigantic, so they will not accept it. And then I was almost going to have to travel like an hour to go to Pure later to pick it up. But luckily, I was able to get it on the second delivery. But the Amazon put it in this gigantic box. And I was like, I'm not going to get on the subway or a streetcar or a bus for an hour to go pick up an umbrella that I bought online so that I wouldn't have to travel for. Anyways, umbrella crisis solved. I have the Derma Blend Kabuki brush. I really love this. Super soft and a lot of the time throughout the day I won't actually powder or blot. I'll just take a Kabuki and kind of run it through the center of my face. That way I'm not adding any extra powder. It just kind of helps to absorb things. 
I have this mini wallet here, which I really, really love. And this is just from Forever 21. I found that my cards were just loose everywhere because I was switching bags quite often. I have been using this one for the past few months, but this was really, really nice. It's under $10. I was going to get the YSL one like my friend Caitlin has, but then I looked at the price tag. I'm talking about Caitlin so much in this video, but um, I was going to get that one. And I was like, that one's on my budget. So I got the Forever 21 one to hold me over and it's doing a really good job. And that way I actually have some money to put in this wallet. Moving on to some more randomness. I have a pack of gum in here. I have these whoosh. These are screen shine wipes, which I should probably use to clean my phone. This I have been actually loving and keeping in my bag to use. It is from Erin, which Erin is the daughter of Estee Lauder and she has her own line of products. So this is a rollerball um, perfume in the shade Water Lily Sun and I just absolutely love it. So I've been keeping it in my bag to kind of like touch up or if I end up going somewhere at night. Um, and I normally don't keep rollerballs in my purse. I don't really own any rollerballs, but I have been enjoying it. I kind of get the appeal of them now. We have a receipt. What is this for? What did I buy? Dollarama. Guys, I got a Dollarama so much. <laughs> Let me tell you what I bought. This is like some real life stuff. I bought tape, spray on alcohol to help fix broken powdered products, Jaffa cakes or Yaffa cakes, which are my boyfriend's favorite cookies, uh, some cleaning wipes, sea salt, and a light bulb. How glamorous. Moving on. I have a spoon in here. I have a portable charger. I bought this on Amazon. It's pretty good. I have a Rogue Starbucks gift card that looks like a Christmas tree. This is a USB from the CoverGirl event that I went to in last year. I did the indoor skydiving. I actually vlogged that day and never uploaded it. So if you'd like to see me indoor skydive, let me know and I will upload that. But they also gave us um, just a USB with all the video from the event. And then uh, I have some other stuff on there too. And then at the bottom of my bag, like let me just show you the inside here. It's literally all makeup. Look at that. Like I went to my friend Julie's house the other day and some of it is there because we like all traded makeup because of some YouTubers and beauty bloggers. But then there's also just my general lip products. Like anybody else have this lip product wasteland at the bottom of their purse? Oh, I also have the Tarte foundation in here. I brought a few foundations over to Julie's. She has a blog. I will link to her and Caitlin down below. Um, but because they gave me the entire collection, there's only so many that I can wear on my face. So I brought, this was the only one that I have left in medium beige. Then she gave me the two Estee Lauder, or sorry, Estee Edit lipsticks. These were the ones, the yellow and the black ones for deepening and lightening lipsticks. And I thought I could use the yellow one to compare it to the Makeup Forever yellow that I have, or no, sorry, the Makeup Revolution. And then she also gave me the Benefit Sun Beam, which I have never tried. So then the rest is all lip products. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint in Nude Star, a favorite of mine. Clarins Instant Light Lip Gloss. This is a really easy on the go that I wear all the time. It's one of those products that I just forget to mention. One of the new Cover Girl Melting Pouts. This one is, I think is my favorite shade in Don't Be Jelly. I have a full lip swatch video on those. I have Frickin' Frack. It is an ultra satin lip, I think, from ColourPop. Again, another go-to every day. Super comfortable. And then I have a ColourPop lip liner in here, which I always bring lip liners to touch up my lip look, but I don't know if I ever actually do. Um, this one is in the shade BFF3, a favorite. Again, another lip liner that probably not never got put to use, but it is the Wet n Wild Plum Together. I have the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lipstick. This was actually the one that I created at their lip lab in Soho, and I realized that I put all this work into creating a shade paid a ton in American dollars for it and never wore it. So I wore it a couple days ago and uh, I really like it. It's kind of a nice red orange shade, Nice to Fuchsia by Wet n Wild. This is again, one of my favorites. These are a lot of my favorite lip products. And then this is from YSL, it's in the shade 202. This is one of their juicy stains, I think. I used it in my spring makeup routine, but really, really easy. Just gives such a nice flush of color to the lips. This is actually really good because I'm kind of cleaning up my purse at the same time and getting to chat with you guys and you get to see a little bit of a more casual side, just something a little bit more chit chatty. I thought it'd be kind of fun, um, but Topped with Brandy from MAC. This is one of their retro mats, a go-to for me. Um, Smashbox Stepping Out in one of their always on liquid lipsticks. This shade I love and I only bought it for the packaging. It's from the MAC Aquatic Collection, but it's in the shade Goddess of the Sea and it's a purple, but it's kind of like a sheer purple. It's kind of muted and I think it's just really interesting so I find myself actually reaching for it which a lot of my MAC limited edition stuff I don't 
Then I have the shade Rubino from Stila. I don't know if they made this permanent or not. It was in one of their holiday kits. And whenever I wear this on Snapchat, I get so many questions. It's a beautiful shade. So hopefully they made it permanent. The NYX Butter Glosses. I love these and I never ever mention them. So this one is in the shade Tiramisu. Maybe I need to do a video on that. Like products I love but that I forget to mention because they're like such staples and always living in my purse. Something to that. Um, the Maybelline Color Drama. These are limited edition to their collection, but really nice if you can track them down. This one is in the shade Red Essential. And then I also have a Ofra Liquid Lipstick, which I do like these, and I always forget to wear them. This one is in Americano. So this is the end of it. We have cleaned out my bag. Just a few change, a bit of change in there. And then this was a card that came in the bag saying it's like handmade leather um, and uh, was made in Italy. So there you have it. That is what is in my bag. Hopefully you still like me and don't think that I'm absolutely nuts. You may have a similar bag to me. If you do, let me know. Let me know what the weirdest thing you ever found in your bag was or the weirdest thing you accidentally took through <laughs> security. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha. Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!